Guys, this is Kizzy E. Will here. I want you guys to join me on holding Leo PV, Ryan, Gail, whoever that's in charge of this thing to make sure that you guys' scooters are delivered. No more kiss ass. Stop kissing ass, man. Stop being out there trying to be nice, hoping that you will get your scooter. The more you guys did this, that's why you've been in this situation for three to four years because you've been kissing ass. How much longer you want to get old? You want to wait till you're all the way in your 70s when you can't ride the scooter anymore? That's when Ryan is going to drop it at your door. Stop kissing ass. Tell the truth. Be honest. Be direct. Hold this company accountable just like I'm doing. Fudge the deals. Because I know these companies are not going to like me and them and their partners and their friends or whoever they get in the meeting together and they discuss. I know they're not going to like me because I'm holding them accountable to do the right thing so they can restore their reputation. And it's crazy that they, to them, they will think that what I'm saying right now is not good. But it is good for them in the long run because Ryan is supposed to take their place as one of the number one manufacturer in the United States to make a high performance electric scooter but they cannot do that because their reputation they have ruined it they have disgraced the American industry as an electric scooter manufacturer they are supposed to be top-notch and not just top-notch in building and manufacturing high performance top-notch in customer service and making sure that people that order their scooter receive it but instead they play games like some of these other manufacturers in different countries so of course some of us are upset of course i'm upset but anyways i hope leo pv and whoever their partners are do the right thing and stop having people waiting and making out all these promotional videos nobody cares about these promotional videos anymore why are you reviewing your own scooter send it out ship it so people who have been waiting for three years can review the scooter that's who we want to see review it not you have anybody receive their electric scooter i will tell you this two people have received their electric scooter something still feels off one person received i believe the ryan and um he had a few complaints about the carbon fiber deck or whatnot but he did receive it and he's grateful that he received it you know i think he said he waited for maybe three years or whatnot now the ryan apex nobody have received any of that i haven't seen anything i encourage you guys if you do receive your ryan apex make a quick video it does not have to be long use your phone record and put it up on youtube for us to see uh, this is really important because this way we can kind of keep an eye on how many units have been sent out because when they ask the new owner how many units have been sent out he said that his company confidential which should not even be company confidential in the first place because you guys have built a reputation of not sending anybody any electric scooter what is it that's confidential it should not be confidential it should be open to public we need to know how many units you're sending out now you're pretty much going to be paying almost 9k eight thousand three hundred and ninety nine dollars which is pretty much four thousand plus if you get this just need to understand that the shipping is not free okay do the whole accept terms and condition and you need to read these terms and condition because in the terms and condition ryan uh, leo pv states that they are not responsible for the quality of this scooter no joke if you go to check out i just want to show you guys that the shipping is shipping is an extra 400 bucks it's gonna jump to eight thousand seven hundred and something dollars i told you guys holly bond gx dutron x limited is shipped for free to your doorstep and it's heavier than the ryan apex have any ryan apex been delivered to the back orders no i do not think so that's why i encourage any of you if you do get it do us a favor and make a short video just record it the box open it and upload it to youtube as simple as possible even a kid you have kids now that upload videos on youtube you can do it since leo pv does not want to be transparent about how many of these units that they're actually sending out we are going to use you guys video that I do post to count as to how many units are actually being sent out so if you do get this ryan apex i highly encourage you to upload a video and let us know if you have received it how long you waited how many years i know that only one person this one unicorn dude just came out from nowhere 
ordered his Ryan on September and then got it in October, which is extremely hard to believe. Do not fall for this. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Don't fall for this. This seems like some business tactics, some game that is being played because this random dude just comes out from nowhere after hearing all the negative feedback after doing all the research that nobody have received the Orion, as soon as this website, Leo PV website was launched, he jumps right on there to order the Orion Apex and knew exactly that it was going to be delivered to him. How convenient is that? You have to be smart. Use your common sense. I know common sense is not common to everybody, but please do not be a damn fool. You have to wait and see if people who have been on back orders are actually going to receive these scooters. Now the guy is over there posting, let me let me go in real quick. He's posting, you know, pictures of the scooter, him and the Ryan Apex, as you guys can see right there, of course in his living room, Ryan Apex. Meanwhile, of course, there are people who have been waiting for three years, like I said, four years uh, for this scooter, but all of a sudden he purchased it in less than a month. Ryan was able to get it to him, but they cannot get it to people who have been waiting. And it kind of puzzles me, how was Ryan able to get away with taking full money, like the full price of this product, up front how were they able to do it for four years holding on to people's money and not deliver the product i think that's illegal there is no way that you can take and we're talking about 8k and they would have paid 10k up front hold on to it almost four years now some people actually have no idea how they can get their money back because it's been so long this is what i don't like about some of you guys you're such kiss asses some of you were still holding on to this hope you did not try to hold this company accountable at all the moment you wait for about six months that's that's the amount of grace that you should give any company six months to deliver your scooter after taking the full amount of front six months you should already start asking for your money back if they cannot deliver it let them return your money and when they are ready they can uh, contact you again or take 50 percent down ryan takes the full money up front they should be taking 50 percent down since they say that the electric scooters are custom made right so take 50 percent down when the scooter is done and ready to be shipped then you invoice for the rest of the payment that's the same thing with my hollybun gx when i bought it 50 percent down when it was ready to be shipped I paid the rest of the owner sent me an invoice to pay for the rest. That's how these things should work. How can a so-called American-made high-performance electric scooter company not understand about customer service? It's a damn shame. I'm sorry, Ryan is a huge disappointment. Anybody in the PEV community that knows about Ryan knows that this this has been a huge disappointment. As a company, as a scooter manufacturer, as the owner, we are all extremely disappointed. Nobody's proud of this company unless you're a damn fool. There is nothing to be proud of right now. What I want Ryan to do, our Leo PV to do, is to start delivering people their scooter. Stop making all these useless promotional videos. We do not care about it. We do not care. And for some of you who are still supporting this company, I don't know if they are buying likes or some of you fake bots. You know how the name sounds like a bot? Because you've been bought. How can you be supporting a company that have taken people's money for four years and not delivered the product? And you're still saying, oh, well, this is one of the best electric scooters. This scooter is the best. You know, this is so good. Oh, the controller is such. Oh, wow. This is so impressive what what's impressive do you know what will be impressive if they actually deliver the scooter to the back order to the people that have been waiting for four years that would be impressive the controllers are not impressive until they have delivered the scooter until they have delivered the product to the people that ordered and used their hard earned money to buy this product that's what will be impressive anyway i'm getting a bit upset right now because i'm tired of this i'm tired of people playing games i'm tired of companies playing games with people's heart and money i'm tired of that stuff i'm tired of them treating people like they are fool and some of you you dance to the drum that the company beats for you now there's a new company called leo pv and they promise that they're gonna deliver and some of you are dancing you're rushing you're like oh my god leo pv is the best they're gonna deliver the scooter we're so proud of you no proud of what 
they haven't accomplished a damn thing they have not accomplished a damn thing for as long as you know this might still be the same thing that's about to happen this year by the end of this year if 10 units if people that have ordered at least 10 of these units have not been sent out and we have not seen any of the ryans that are out on the street videos of people being proud rejoicing that they finally got their school after waiting for years then this company should just be dissolved and cancelled there should be no point an american company should be such an embarrassment to the manufacturer of electric scooters companies the united states manufacturers for electric scooters is supposed to be the top the best and i'm not talking about the best as high performance the best in customer service the best in pretty much every areas when it comes to making these scooters these things get to me because i put myself in that position i could have been one of those guys i've been waiting for years i still have the emails that were sent to me when it was time to purchase this thing they told me that it's ready but i knew it wasn't ready i knew it wasn't ready and i almost felt for this and i would have been one of the people waiting for three years why they are holding on to my money you know if you invested that 5k you invested invested that 10k you know how much money you could have been making from that you can't ride the scooter you can't enjoy the thing that this this is straight to the owner the leo pv matt i can't give a 100 percent feedback as to what your goal is because i'm still watching i'm still paying attention but so far i am not impressed so far we are not impressed we are not impressed at all but we're going to give you grace we're going to give you time but i've seen that some of your focus is not on advertisement you have your youtube channel you're posting videos that's nice but your main focus right now should be delivering this even the the electric scooter the apex that you're using to do video deliver that scooter deliver it to one of the back orders yes stop coming on youtube to talk about how great it is how good it is about the brakes we know all these things we don't care deliver it package it and ship it to somebody that have been waiting for a long time let them do the review we do not want the company reviewing their own damn scooter it doesn't make sense it does not make sense to us anyways i don't know what else to tell you guys anymore if you still want to be the unicorn like that dude something is off about that guy like i'm telling you guys something ain't right you see that he's working with ryan or something working with leo pv but something does not feel right doesn't something just doesn't seem right at all yeah people have been waiting for a long time and he orders and in a one month he gets his scooter he's riding around talking about oh yeah i ordered this uh, on september and all of a sudden i got it on october why are you telling us this why are you rubbing it in people's face when you know that people have been waiting for a long time who told you to make these statements you're trying to encourage naive buyers to go and place that order because you magically got yours nonsense this is Kizzy E. Will. Peace out. I'm pissed off.